きれいどうもそして僕を見て頑張りますあのね Y'all talking time just tick away You ain't clocking I was on the day All that watch is stopping what you claim Dollar cross is real got me name Hoping God just get me out this way I'm a little pressed for time so you guys hope you don't mind just kind of me having the one graphic here and me speaking you can just listen in the background um like subscribe if you're new and hit the bell down to the ghost of 13 month series does not get you check the description for everything from my twitch to paypal to twitter to discord if you want to join and all that good stuff okay one thing that i've always appreciated about a lot of you guys with the exception of a lot of really hardcore BAM stands and people who I assume was like are like 12 and 13 and like Tower of God is you've always been able to kind of take the criticism that I have for the series in good in good faith and good stride. Even if you don't agree with my viewpoint or what I'm saying, a lot of you don't tend to malfunction because to me that's a very telling sign if I say, hey, I think this is an issue with the series and your first your first reaction is to short circuit deflect yell run away go to your echo chamber those people i don't really have too much respect for again disagreeing with me is never an issue i i i i like to argue so i have no problem people disagree with me just make sense and be respectful that's all i ever ask now i want to talk about something that i think is holding tower of god back from the next level and especially after reading kubera i truly believe this I think a lot of these series where the cast is so diverse, so plentiful, so ever uh, constantly ever expanding, I think it's really hard as an author to kind of be able to focus on all of them and give everyone the proper shine they deserve. This series has a tendency because of Bam being a child of prophecy and this is kind of like your your story that's related to that destiny and faith and you know, things of that nature. It just focuses on him like all the time. We never have an extended period of time where we're looking at somebody who isn't 25th Bam. And I think it's a problem. Why do I think that? This is the main character. Him being the main focal point, getting no less than 51% of the time makes is totally fine. It makes sense to me. Like you, you should focus on your character, especially as we approach the end game. I understand the importance of the main character becoming more prominent in the, in the narrative. I really think that you take away what all the other characters contribute, can do, and how interesting their individual stories are because it always has to be tied to Bam, related to Bam, or about him. And I don't think that's very interesting a lot of the times. I truly do not. I like worlds that feel extremely alive, that things don't only really happen when the main character or main cast gets there. I think a large part of world building that a lot of people don't talk about is the people and the world itself functioning whether or not the main character is doing x y or z so whether the main character is doing something crazy in the tower people are still living their lives and major things and technologies and advancing and things like that in my hero what i liked about kind of like some of the beginning episodes is that you would hear people say like oh there's a villain fighting right now I'm going to be late for work. Like the subway was held up because something that was happening. That had nothing to do with the main character and what he was going, what he was doing. People are late for work because there's a super villain doing shit. I like that. We we need to see more Wagnan. Where is he at? He has the, the blade, soul edge, let me call it. Um, he said, yo, ability to change destiny fate, but you got to kill someone first. What's going on with uh, Teen Sweet, uh, Sweet and Sour? Yuri's imprisonment. Did she meet King Jahan? Did they speak at all? Like, I truly believe as of right now in the story, as much as I actually am enjoying the current stuff because Mule Love is here. Like, Mule Love is here and this has been pretty good. Don't get me wrong. This war, this war this has been pretty good. But I really think all of those other things are far more interesting. Like, I, I'm, I'm at the point where I kind of want to move past this so we can get to other stuff. I would like to see Yuri, like I said. Wagner is another one. Where are all the other regulars for season one and whatnot? Where's my where's Dorsey and the Knack? Where my, where's Rand? What are they doing? Are we only going to end up seeing them when Bam comes to the floor that they're on or something? Like, this is my thing. Like, 
Bam is cool, Bam's a good character, and watching him grow has been fantastic, but he's not the end all be all and the only thing that matters in this story to the readers. Maybe in Korea it's different. I understand he, one time in some blog post, the way that he would talk about, like, you know, Bam not being there for a chapter or two, made a lot of fans, whatever, like, yeah, like in Kubera. There was a huge proportion of the story with, that does not focus on Lee's, and every comment I saw on Webtoon was like, where is, where is this character? Where is this character? And I respect Curry Gone for not capitulating and being like, okay, let me just give them what they want. Like, no, this is my story. This is my narrative, and I will tell it the way that I wish to tell it. Sometimes I don't even, I really don't feel like SIU wants to do this all the time because Banners even go through adversity. Because he said something about, oh, I don't want to make him go through that because, like, the fans don't like it. That one I could be remembering a little bad because I can't remember the, the, the blog post verbatim. But it sounded like he was saying that, you know, it seems like the fandom doesn't really enjoy seeing him suffer. And I'm like, your main character needs to go through trials and tribulations or else all the things that they have and get do not feel earned. Bam doesn't really bleed, doesn't really train hard, it just everything's just all natural, I'm just a regular, I'm Neo in the Matrix, everything comes easily to me. That's a fine thing to have in the story, it's okay that he's special, I have no issue with that. It's just that, is that just the end all be all? Like that's, that, that's the reason we're going to use for him doing any and everything he does, because anytime I bring up something about Bam, y'all say the same three things. One, he's an irregular, he came from a different cloth. Two, well, he has to be King Jihad, so he has to get this strong. Well, what the fuck does that mean? Does that mean that Luffy should just be just be the Pirate King because he has to get there eventually? Just make him so just make him a, just bring King Jihad right now, let him fight. Like what the hell are we talking about? And they basically kind of use Urek to kind of skill. Like I actually can't remember the third one, but I can't remember Simi. Simi has the the tweet, but SIU slave in utero. I promise you it's okay to take a step away from this nigga bam. I promise. It's okay. If you go four chapters where we're following Yuri, we're following Wagnan, we're following Endorsian and Nak, I promise it's okay. We will not leave. We will not drop the story. It's going to be fine. I, I'm, I have the opposite problem that maybe some people have. I'm sick of this nigga, man. I'm sick of seeing him. I'm sick of him just doing shit. I just want to see other people do stuff and succeed. I'm sick of him. I'm tired. Ah! I don't know what you guys think. Do you think that the story would benefit a lot more if we could stop making Bam the absolute focal point all the time, the center of attention? Or what other things do you think maybe are holding the story back? Do you not agree? Do you think the story should focus more on Bam or it's fine this way? Let me know in the comment section below and have yourselves a mighty fine day.